everybody welcome to another weekly vlog i always forget that i have to start this on a saturday and my other one ends so yeah it is saturday as i mentioned the 16th of feb chris is drying something upstairs is it 16th today or is it 17th oh you guys know you know what i'm like with dates um we're having a really chilled weekend it's actually london fashion weekend a london fashion week um, which I usually go to every season, but this season I've decided to um, to sit it out and just relax and do me and I'm happy being at home, so I'm sitting this one out. Um, tonight I can catch up with everything on Vogue.com, which is fine. Um, so yeah, I am missing everyone, like I, I enjoy mainly just seeing all my friends and stuff. But instead, Chris and I are going to home base sounds really boring but it's actually quite fun when you've got your own place <laughs> um there's a few bits that we want to look at and some plants and stuff as it's nearly spring um we're gonna get some nice plants for outside the front of our house so yeah we look forward to doing things like that i also might go look and see if i can get a camera today um i want to get a new camera for uh just like blog purposes and a uh, honeymoon coming up and lots of um events and stuff coming up that i'd like to take it so that's cool. Um, other than that, it's going to be quite a relaxed weekend. Probably seeing Jazz tomorrow to do photos. So, all in all, just still chilled. Same old me. What? Keep your on. Oh, crap. Um, it's Sunday. Today. I need to go save my pyjama bottoms on the floor. It's so sunny. <laughs> Pyjamas. Washing. Hey look, I'm not sat on the floor playing fucking PS4 for once. <laughs> <laughs> look nice. Okay. Oh, wait, maybe you. You? Thank you. I wouldn't say it about myself, would I? <laughs> <laughs> Got this wire. I'm home at the moment. Oh, Chris has just opened the door. Um, I got this thick wire, I think it was two millimetres thick and me and Chris are going to make it into like a really big heart shape for um, the ceremony so I can make kind of like a pom-pom heart. Um, but yeah, to hang up behind us. So yeah, it's quite thick. But then I've got these pliers and these ones. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to put it together yet. Um, maybe some tape or something, but we'll try it when it comes to it. So we're just making the heart up, just cut off a bit of metal. I want to get that like a really sharp, sharp bend. It uh, doesn't need to be sharp, no, I guess. Okay, so, I'll show it. I've got the sort of foundations of it, and then what we did is we halved it here, ah. <laughs> halved it here, and did it all the way around so we knew where to cut, so it was the exact same on each side and then just had a bit to about two inches excess at the bottom so when we attach it we can glue ah get off we can glue it and then use some tape and we got a little heart shape yay it's gone that so we just taped oh probably would do that then we'll go we just taped it at the bottom can i show a close-up of the tape so we just taped the two bits together and now we've got to shape it so it's not so sad. <laughs> At the moment, it looks, it looks really, big. it looks really sad. <laughs> Don't know if you can oh, see it in this. <laughs> Put it on the floor so you can kind of see the shape. It's a wank. <laughs> yeah, so we need to shape it so it looks good. Because <laughs> at the moment, it's like wah, wah, wah. There we go. You can see it now. Get out. You can't really make it out because of the light background, but. Yeah, good shape. <laughs> so then I'm gonna add some pom poms to it and there's gonna be a little heart to hang behind us at the ceremony. Very good. Thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> I think it came out better than I thought it would. Yeah, happy That's with that. You can see it a bit more now. It's thick well, thick well. Cute. Cute. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Sorry, my hair looks in absolute state. Um, I'm due a wash, <laughs> but I feel like I did this last week as well. Um, I am at home today, as you can see. It's Thursday and I'm waiting for a nurse to come to my house as I am learning how to use um, a new injection that I've got. I take an injection for my Crohn's every two weeks and 
the kind of style of the injection has changed um, in terms of like the application and um, the drug company has uh, basically made the drug that I was taking called Humira. Um, it was close just to that brand. Um, and after I think two years, uh, then all brands can have access to it and uh, the NHS have got one a supplier now that's cheaper. So um, it just means a slightly different application process and things like that. So a nurse is coming around to teach me how to use it. Uh, which means I've got to have an injection this morning, which usually I don't like to do them until the evening because it can affect my day. But that's all good. I've just got to good and bear it. And um, I've got uh, Rachel and Fifi coming around this afternoon uh, for some nibbles and a catch up. And I um, haven't seen them in ages, like maybe the beginning of Jan. Um, I feel like we saw each other just after New Year's. So. Yeah, it feels like ages though. Um, it doesn't feel like a matter of a few weeks, to be honest with you, because um, just been so busy. Um, so yeah, that is it for today, really. Um, just gonna rest. I've been exhausted this week. I've had like really bad fatigue. Although, um, touch wood, my pain and stuff hasn't been too bad this week. Um, I'm just really exhausted, like so tired. My body's obviously feeling something, so it's good to. Just listen to it and rest and stuff and i'm gonna sit on my laptop now and do some work i've got some really exciting um projects that i want to work on at the moment just for my own branded stuff um lots of things in the pipeline for my website and yeah just lots of things that i want to do that i've finally got some clarity with which is cool so if you um yeah love my blog and stuff like that then hopefully you'll enjoy that i have got a newsletter coming soon as well so I will, um, yeah, I'll update you on that, so I'll see you guys soon, hopefully when the girls are here. Bing bing! Come you love me! <laughs> yeah, I'm hiding! <laughs> the so girlies are sick. here! Hey! Hi. Hi. I haven't vlogged you yet, we've just been chatting and nattering and stuff. They're actually about to leave as well. We've been having such fun that I did not video. But so this little one does not... He's got attachment <laughs> issues. <laughs> just love me, please. <laughs> Why Come do you love me? Turn around. <laughs> Be nice. <laughs> Let me come to you. So yeah, can... there we go. Hello. It's like a good way to Look, it's it. just right by your crotch. I like, know. mommy. <laughs> love me, please. please. Oh. <laughs> oh, yay. They've just gone home. But look at these cute pictures that we took on my Instax. Um, this one has got a timer on the Instax SQ10. Yeah, there you go. Um, it's got a timer, so we took this one, and then I took this one as well, a little selfie one. Very cute. My baby. Ooh. He's here. Let's show my face, actually. Did some pretty makeup today. So all I've been doing is a face of makeup, and I had a play around with my hair. Um, but yeah. What have been up to today, <laughs> Chrissy? What have you been up to today? I've been at work. Why is my head so big? <laughs> Bing. <laughs> I got a big face. <laughs> Why? Look! Look how big it is. It's making me sad. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to another weekly vlog. And I am here at my nan and granddad's house. This is my old bedroom when I was a teenager. Um, yeah, spending the weekend here. Just been doing lots of errands today. It's nearly the end of the day. You can probably tell it's quite dark. Um, yeah, went this morning for my wedding dress fitting. Really happy. My dress is looking really nice, really good. Um, and then went to the wedding venue with my mum, my nan and granddad. And had like a final meeting. Went over everything of the run through of the day and like final costings and that kind of thing really really good again um the coordinator there i'm getting married at east horton uh, a venue near winchester in the uk and the woman that runs it is just so bloom and lovely like couldn't be more thankful she's just so nice um what else did we oh yes and then came home and me and mum just went to the shops 
like B&M, which is, if you don't know B&M, it's like home base but a cheap equivalent and you get lots of home goodies and like loads of, basically just so much stuff in there. Um, I just picked up some wedding flowers, like some fake flowers and some retro sweets and stuff um, for some like snacky bits I'm doing at the wedding. So, very successful day, I'm really tired, just about to have my dinner, my granddad's just cooking downstairs, bless him. Um, and then I'm painting a doll's house which my granddad has made, which I'll show you guys in a minute, it's unbelievable. Um, and the doll's house is actually going to be a post box for wedding cards from guests and stuff, which is just really sweet. And yeah, it's really cute, I'll show you guys in a second. So I'm just heading downstairs now and then tomorrow I'm getting my tattoo done. Um, getting the colour finished by my friend Rob and yeah it's going to be a really hectic day tomorrow um, so I'm going to make sure I get an early night tonight, get some sleep and get my tattoo tomorrow so very busy weekend but successful <laughs> this is the doll's house it's quite big and the top has like a little slot for people to put their cards in it's quite heavy to do this one handed but it lifts up and it's like a bug <laughs> it's heavy yeah okay i think i've done that oh no i haven't shot it properly <laughs> hang on so yeah i need to paint these little bits and this so yeah looking good i don't know what he's put inside there oh the windows need to be stuck down properly Getting into trouble You are kind of like a fire, like a fire, like a fire Unpredictable So original You are never backing down, backing down, backing down That's what I like about you Here's the house guys I spent all evening painting the roof It's taken me a few hours But yeah, really, really pleased And then you've got the hole in the top For um, the cards to go in So yeah, really happy Hey guys, it's Wednesday today, Wednesday evening, I'm just getting ready for bed but I thought I'd stop by and vlog because I haven't vlogged a week, have I? Um, oh, I'll do a little catch up before going to sleep. I may look a bit rosy cheeked and flushed and what have you. Um, I get like this when I've had um, medication so when was it? Yesterday I... Um, I don't know, if you watch my vlogs regularly you'll know like the updated stuff but basically I was getting an injection in my knee and they had to wait for me to have an x-ray on my knee and then like be able to tell exactly where to do it so yesterday was that, went to the hospital, had an ultrasound um, and I had my knee injected with a steroid and the first few days after having a steroid I get lots of different side effects so one of them is that I get really hot and I get really red and flushed feel like my face is burning a little bit um, I have not really been putting much on my face today it just gets like this um, so that's one thing I also have issues sleeping I get really like lucid dreams um, and also like get quite a, a fast heart rate so I feel a bit agitated and stuff but yeah so that's me <laughs> um, what else have been going on just went to work today I've got work again tomorrow so I'm going to get an early night just been um not done a lot tonight, I had dinner and then Jazz's mum Barry came round, she lives near me and she is an amazing crafter, um, her channel was Barry Jane Makes and she'll be on my blog soon doing like a guest feature, uh, so yeah she came around to show me her blog post that she'd been working on for it and that'll be up in say like a couple of weeks I think um, on my blog, if not the end of next week, next, the week after. So yeah, um, it's really really cute, really can't wait to host that on my site. Um, and then that's it really, I've been really lazy today in terms of like doing my own stuff because obviously I've been at work, got home, um, was nattering with <laughs> Barry for about two hours and then I've just essentially just crashed and burned and now I'm ready for bed but I thought I'd vlog because I saw my, just seen my cameras, so I've been organising my handbag and I was like, I haven't vlogged this week. So yeah, apologies for the absence. Um, I've just been a bit airy-fairy, just dealing with stuff. Uh, lots going on with the wedding and um, yeah just things happening that I haven't been able to just like be uh, mindful of getting my camera out and vlogging for you guys um, but there's lots of good stuff coming up it's just this this weird period of like planning so yeah um, I'm gonna get my outfit ready for tomorrow I'm gonna go to sleep and yeah it's just been one of those weeks guys so apologies 
Um, might go on my phone and have a little look at Pinterest and just have a little browse and get myself ready for bed. So I'll catch you guys probably Friday because tomorrow I'm working and Friday is my day at home this week. So last day of the weekly vlog so hopefully I'll stick to it and I'll, <laughs> I'll vlog some bits for, the, for you guys Friday. <sighs> but yeah, night, night, night. I'll see you then. Okay. Hey guys. Let me sort myself out. Um, you might be able to hear the kettle boiling in the background. It is Thursday and I've been home for literally two mins. Um, I've got in a bit earlier from work just because I'm feeling absolutely atrocious. Um, I think the steroid injections just caught up with me today and I sort of like cracked on at work and like I had a really busy morning um, doing a shoot with a diff few different people and sort of overseeing that and stuff and I was on my feet for um, most of the morning so um, I had went out, got lunch, came back I've been like really chirpy and like happy all day just trying to like keep up the morale and stuff um, but it's just hit me like an absolute ton of bricks so I was literally sat at the desk um, with one of my colleagues and I was like this and I was like, uh, I said to her, I was like I honestly feel exhausted, like not just tired, but like a physical and mental exhaustion. I was like, every time I looked at my screen, I was just like, I just kept forgetting what I was doing and I was just like nodding my head and like, I mean, look at me, I look like an absolute state. Um, and I'm like boiling hot in the face, I'm roasting up. Um, and do you know, it got to the point I was just like, she was literally like, go home. I was like, I, I can't, um, but it's not that I can't, I suppose it's just like feeling guilty, isn't it? You know, like having to, um, to finish up and come home, but I'm going to finish my work this evening, but it's just frustrating because I'm exhausted. Like, all I want to do is go to bed, like, yeah, so I'm going to make a cup of tea, I'm going to take it up to bed and I'm going to have a 20 minute power nap because I just don't think I can, I can like manage anything else until I've slept. Like I'm honestly that tired. Um, and if anyone has ever experienced fatigue, you'll know exactly how I feel right now. Like it's literally my body hurts, like actually hurts me. I'm in pain everywhere, I've got tummy pain. My arms are aching, my legs are aching. Like do you remember when you were growing up, I don't know if you ever got this, and you'd get like growing pains and like you felt like so tired like coming back from school and like you'd get growing pain and stuff. Imagine that but in your adult life times 10. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. Um, so yeah, not not cool. Um, this is how tired I am. I fucking poured the water into the cup without putting a tea bag in it. <sighs> Dude, right, I'll be back in a sec. Good morning. Oh, what's going on in my hair? Um, it's Friday today and I can't remember what I vlogged yesterday apart from the fact that I wasn't very well. I'd come, come home from work a little bit earlier. Well, um, the evening just took a bit of an annoying turn. I called uh, the NHS service, which is like 111 service. Um, and then they asked me to come to the out of hours uh, like hospital near me. Luckily it's only 10 minutes away, which is good. Um, but I just saw a doctor quickly there and they just said it was nothing to worry about probably more of like a viral kind of thing and just to get lots of rest and stuff so yeah uh, very annoying I'm not I'm feeling a bit better today which is good just gonna take it really really easy I did definitely overdo it yesterday at work um, I was kind of like trying to be really upbeat and motivated and stuff um, and I just burnt out and obviously my body wasn't a hundred percent anyway it hasn't been all this week so yeah, there's that, um, and then today I'm actually going to go see my Crohn's specialist anyway, I have a check-up appointment with them already booked, which is good timing, because I can go in and just make sure they can check everything, check my tummy, um, and stuff like that, so, yeah, all, all okay, um, and then I'm going to come back and just, um, do some work, catch up on bits, and just, yeah, just chill at home for the next few days, really, um, so yeah, uh, not ideal, but you guys know what it's like if you watch my vlogs um, and you've got a chronic illness yourself, you know it and goes and whatever, so. <sighs> I'm gonna leave the house. I need to go post a card for my friend's birthday 
and what else have I been doing? I've got some like things to pick up, like deliveries and stuff that I got ordered and like I tend to not get stuff ordered to the house anymore just because the postman is an absolute nightmare. So I'm gonna go pick some stuff up, um, go to the hospital and then I'll be back here. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna vlog today, but obviously it's the last day of the week to vlog and it's just been me talking about how sick I am this whole week. So apologies, um, it's not very fun, but um, I'll try and like show you some updated like wedding stuff or something later on. Um, been doing lots of organizing and making and things sort of in the background. So um, I'll see what I can show you later. But for the time being, I'm gonna go, um, yeah. Hey, um, back at mine after a few hours. Um, it is the afternoon and oh, I'm out of breath, I'm tired, um, but I promised that I'd show you something interesting before the end of the vlog, so I'm working on a blog post for Bridesmaid Gifts and on my way back from the hospital I went and picked up some, some bits and bobs for the bridesmaids and I've been collecting bits, let me sit down because I'm out of breath. <sighs> Yeah, so I've been collecting bits for the bridesmaid bags. I have got some bags in little pastel colours um, and I want to show you a really thrifty way to make a really amazing sentimental gift. If you're one of my bridesmaids, stop watching now because I don't want to give anything away. Um, I don't want you to see what I've got you but obviously yeah stop watching <laughs> so this is the making of a flat lay for my blog post i got these little pastel bags pack of five you get um pink blue mint yellow and lilac really cute for gifts um and then i'm just sort of going to show you what i'm going to put inside i've got some goodies from oliver bonus that they kindly gifted uh as well as these little blue boxes i brought um a six pack from ebay i'll link stuff below but um they were dirt cheap, man, like, you can buy these gift boxes, like, empty. And then I bought these little bracelets for the girls, uh, rose gold ones with their initials on. Quite a popular little bridesmaid gift that you see online quite a lot, actually. But, um, on Etsy, um, on Etsy, people sell these bracelets with this kind of little thank you for being my bridesmaid card. But they were ranking the price up because they were like personalised text and you could put your wedding date on and stuff. And I thought, I do graphic design, I'm just going to make my own and print them off, which I did. So I actually made this little design on Photoshop. Um, let's see if it will focus. Come on. Come on, you. There you go. Yeah, so thank you for being my bridesmaid and then I've put my wedding date on there. And obviously I've just printed this on plain paper and it sits like perfectly in the little box. Um, and it saved me like a lot of money doing it this way. Um, so the girls get like a little gift each uh, and in t as well as the little bracelet I brought some goodies from Primark which I'll show you in a minute just to make them like a little gift bag sort of thing. So yeah I'm going to go and photograph this and then I'll be back and show you the other bits. Oh, so I've just put um, a little bag together and I've just been photographing it. So inside these little bags, bear in mind, these bags, I thought they were £3, took it to the till and it was a pound. <laughs> um, and I got five of these because I got five bridesmaids. So inside they'll have a little pack of tissues, hand sanitizer, a little face mask because we're doing a sleepover in the hotel. And then um, just a little handful of bobby pins. Um, basically like a little... Um, essentials kit for the wedding and then they can add their lippy in there or like whatever they want um, for the wedding day which is cute then they've got their little bracelet um, which is cute and then I've got some fluffy socks wrapped up in there so yeah um, my sister at her house has got these little dressing gowns that I got for them you know like the bride to be um, the bridesmaid ones the bride to be ones so they'll have their dressing gown in the bag along with these little bits so yeah really happy and the whole bag of Primark stuff, I got like the face masks, bobby pins, hand sanitizers, these little bags. I got enough for the bridesmaids and the mums and I got it all for 30 quid. Like honestly, it was such a bargain. So I'm going to end, um, it's not, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going to start wrapping them up and get this finished and then I'll show you when they're all done. So here's the bags finished. Looking super cute. 
yeah, really happy with them. So now I've taken all my pictures, I'm going to have to dismantle the bags so I can pack them up um, just for easier travelling and stuff. But yeah, I'm really happy. They're super cute.